What's good? What's up? It's Jordan or Texans Thoughts and I'm back with probably my favorite video I will ever upload. You guys may know my f You guys may know my love for Jacob Martin. He's my favorite player and I really believe in his game. So it was a true true blessing to talk to him and words really can't describe just how grateful I am for this opportunity. So this video is going to be a bit of a teaser of the full interview. I'll show a couple sacks he broke down and a question I asked him about Anthony Weaver, but if you want to see the full interview, that's going to be up on the Texans Unfiltered YouTube channel and we talked for a good 45 minutes. I asked him about what he's working on through the offseason, how the offseason and training camp is going, the Black Lives Matter movement, and just so much more. We also go through all of his sacks with the Texans and break it down. It was super fun. So that's up right now, and it's linked in the description below, so please do go check that out. Again, this was such a surreal moment for me, and one that I'll never forget. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and comment down below your thoughts on the video. Alright, let's get into the interview. Yeah, man, so uh, we call that a uh, cross chop or chop swing. Um, right. So uh, essentially just chopping... Uh, his outside arm with my inside arm, uh, turning my shoulders to reduce the blocking surface. Mm -hmm. um, and as I step through, um, I either change levels uh, by dropping the inside shoulder or I uh, rip and try to lift his uh, uh, arm, clearing my body underneath his arm. Um, oftentimes, you know, you can you can win just on a straight chop. Uh, but, you know, this this is a great move. You know, it's 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 my essentially I call it a speed check. You know, I try to get off as fast as I can and see how fast he can kick. Uh, if he's there, then I'll throw the move. If he's not there, then I, it's a sack. You know, that's try not to deviate off my path as, as much as possible. Um, straight lines, try to keep the angles right. Right. That's, that's, sure. that's, essentially, that's essentially my game, man. Try to try yeah. to run as fast as I can to see if he can kick. And then once I get him afraid of my speed and that's when I start throwing the change ups. For sure, yeah, man. Your speed, it's another level. Like, your athletic gifts, that's what honestly makes me fall in love with your game because you can't teach that type of athleticism. And so your potential is just sky high with it. And like you said, just being able to read what the offensive lineman is doing, if they can keep up or not, and that kind of dictates your next move. I guess that kind of goes into my question, like, how much of pass rushing is is planned and how much of it is kind of reactionary? So, like, are you going to that line, like, you know, like okay, I'm going to hit him with move A, and then if that's blocked up or if he covers out well then move b or is it kind of just everything's in the moment and you're reacting to if i he would gets say on you? i would say for me you know me coming into the league out of college i i was a good pass rusher in college um you know but i wasn't i wasn't as good as i could have been in college because i was so busy trying to try or not really perfecting all these moves these moves i would throw uh off so this is actually my change up right here Yep. Um, so uh, I like I throw a stab. I, I like stab his chest with my hand, you know, to get him to to stop his feet because he, he he had a good get off um, right there where he's right on top of me. Um, so I knew I knew right then I had to throw the change up. Like I had to stab him. So my I used my inside hand to stab and uh, it's a stab club. So I, I clubbed his inside or his outside arm with my outside arm, um, and that's the change up. Uh, this is something I, I I need to work on a little bit, you know, is uh, staying a little bit tighter to the offensive alignment, so I'm not floating over the top, you know. Yeah. Um, because I beat him, I beat him cleanly, you know, but I it made like I was I was too wide at the end of my move, which made me had to take an extra step at the top of the rush, which gave Tom the ability to step up. So kind of going on that point, um, what are your thoughts on new defensive coordinator Anthony Weaver? I know you've had him only for one year so far, but the fact that he's younger than Rack and he's a former player, does that kind of help him be more relatable to you guys? Uh, man, Weaver's a great coach, man. Um, he's a great guy. He's a guy, a guy that you want to play for. You know, when you when you have a, a defensive line guy, he's a guy that played teams the line in the NFL and, and coached it in the NFL, you know. He's had, he's a, he has a different understanding and a different respect, you know, and appreciation for the the, the, the talents in the front seven. And I'm not saying he doesn't he doesn't appreciate and enjoy the talents that we bring in the back end, you know. But um, I think it's it's exciting for the guys up front, you know. Maybe we get to do a little bit more uh, moving around a little bit uh, and things like that, more games and opportunities to to be on the field and play uh, with, with bigger guys on the field. So. Um, sure. I think it's awesome to have Weave calling, calling the plays. I'm excited for, for the team and um, 
I'm excited. I'm excited for the, to see what this defense is, is, is going to be about. I, I know it's going to be a big year for us. For so. All right. So that's going to be it for today. This was just kind of a teaser clip of the full interview. We talked for about 45 minutes in total, and you can find that in the description below. We've got a lot of awesome stuff going on at Texans Unfiltered. I write in-depth articles about the Texans with more film breakdowns. We've also got a weekly podcast on all your typical platforms. And if you like this interview, I've had other ones with rookies Jonathan Grenard and Isaiah Coulter, which you can check out too. Really appreciate y'all's support. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and comment down below your thoughts on the video. The question of the day is, who would you like to see me try and get an interview with next? Let me know. All right, this was Jordan or Texans Thoughts. Hope you enjoyed and come back for more. Take care, everyone.